And this tape is to be a visual record of some important events in my life. I spent much of my early years at this house, 2030 Southwest 18th Street, uh, in the southwest section of Miami, in what is now known as Little Havana. Uh, the house was built by my parents uh, and my grandfather in 1948. This was my bedroom uh, in the front. It was a two-bedroom house. You can see uh, we had a lot of tropical vegetation around this house. Uh, my grandfather uh, was raised crotons. He was particularly proud of them. We had a great many crotons, and uh, here's, here's part of them. And, of course, we had things like poinsettias. Uh, I had spent my entire life in South Florida and do very little else. Uh, this is uh, hibiscus, of course. We had a goldfish pond in the backyard, which my father had built. Uh, it was adjacent to the patio. Uh, here is my, my dad and my four young cousins, uh, his sister Boo's children, the Johnstone kids. This is the backyard, back of our house. And here's my dad uh, in the living room of our house and sitting on the arm of the chair is Spooky, our cat, which we had for about 13 years. Uh, like many cats, she felt she owned the house. And by mom and dad, this picture is taken in 1957 on the campus of Florida State University. Francis and Bill Taylor. And this is a family gathering in 1959. Uh, I, of course, was in, on the left. My father across from me on the right, and next to him is my mother. Sitting next to me is my grandfather, Frank Melsom. At the end of the table facing us is my grandmother, uh, May Melsom. She died in 1962, he died in 1963. And this is in the dining room of our house. That was all the panning, paneling, that's real naughty pine paneling. This is the same group uh, at my grandparents' home in 1957. Uh, my grandmother and my mother see, of course, and I'm in the middle of the back. This uh, had been my grandparents' home for many, many years. Their house uh, is right, is visible just past my grandfather's left shoulder there. It was a Carl Rock construction house that they built in the 30s. In the uh, 50s, they rented it to a uh, daycare school and built a building uh, on one side of the lot. This building, uh, they rented the store. Uh, it was a variety of things, flower shop. At this particular time, it was a dairy store. They lived in the apartment upstairs and used the garage downstairs. It's my father's 1946 Chrysler parked at the curb. This is at 152 uh, Northwest 27th Avenue in Miami. This is the other side of the family, sitting on the couch in our living room. My father sitting in front uh, with his arms around uh, my young cousin, Larry Johnstone. Uh, the older boy is, is Leslie. Uh, two little girls are Marguerite and Muriel. On the couch, uh, from left to right, uh, my father's sister June, my Aunt June, uh, then my mother, and then my grandmother, Pansy Taylor. Uh, I run directly behind my father, my uncle, uh, Dan Johnstone. And the lady in the pink dress is my dad's other sister, uh, Boo Johnstone. And on the right on the couch, my grandfather, uh, L.V. Taylor. This is another uh, gathering of, of that side of the family. Uh, I'm in this picture, standing in the, in the back, uh, next to my Uncle Dad. I have no idea who took this picture. This was on the occasion of a visit 
of my uh, grandfather's brother, uh, Uncle Bob, from California, and his wife, and they're sitting in the uh, two chairs on the left side of the picture. This is my great-grandmother, Minnesota Tilton, who lived in a little town of San Mateo in, in north central Florida, where the family settled prior to the Civil War. Uh, my great-grandmother died in 1964 at the age of 96. This is taken at Fairchild Gardens in South Dade County. Uh, my mother, notice the gloves she's wearing, which ladies wore. This was probably a Sunday. And the lady on the left is uh, my father's Aunt Lillian, Aunt Lillian Meissner, uh, who at the time this picture was taken lived in Jacksonville. These were some good friends of my dad. Uh, the gentleman is, is Mr. Edwin Huckins. We called him Huck. Uh, his wife, Betty. Uh, Huck was uh, in the Army with my dad, and they were very good friends. And uh, he goes to see them to this day. They live in Ormond Beach, which is, at the time this picture was taken, was out in the country. Uh, it's now a suburb of, of Daytona Beach. The church was very important uh, in our life for for much of my formative years, although we did not attend church at all when I was very young. In 1951, uh, my parents and I joined uh, St. Paul's Lutheran Church on West Flagler Street in, uh, in Miami. Uh, Reverend Carson Lutter brought us into the church. And I was confirmed here. This is the uh, interior of the church. It was a very beautiful little church. But when the congregation merged with another congregation and formed a new church known as St. Peter's, uh, we built a new church building on the same property. Uh, this is St. Peter's Church in the late 50s. Uh, this was a very large and or elaborate church. This uh, would have been taken on Easter Sunday of 1959. Uh, my mother and father standing in front of the church. Uh, my grandparents, uh, the Melsoms, are, are buried here. Their ashes are in urns in the columbarium, which is uh, that wing at the extreme end of the, uh, of the building. The interior views of this church. My life in Miami was, I felt, was unique. It was a unique place to live. I couldn't conceive of ever living anywhere else. This is the skyline of Miami, taken from Watson Island uh, in the middle 50s, or in the late 50s. Uh, it looks quite different, of course, than what it did, than what it does today. But to me, this was the most wonderful place in the world to live. I couldn't imagine living any place where it actually got cold. Uh, the uh, uh, the sand and the sun and the and the warm weather uh, and the water was just to me. This is a way of life that uh, I couldn't imagine anything else. Uh, of course, the life there centered around the tourist trade. The economy did. Uh, some of the great hotels on Miami Beach. Uh, this was. The Castaways, which is not a great hotel, was a rather uh, elaborate motel that had been built uh, in the beach area. This is the Thunderbird. Uh, I had a lot of fun with my new camera, uh, trying to take artistic pictures. And this is the scene of some of the traffic. This is uh, going across a bridge, a place called Baker's Hallover, uh, in the north side of, of Dade County. And this is some more of the tropical vegetation around our house. Uh, this is in a different house. This is a house uh, that my parents lived in a few years later on 16th Terrace. Highly a racetrack, one of the places that we never went when the races were on, but we like to take visitors there to see it. It's very 
really very beautiful place. This is the grandstand at Hialeah. And this is alligator wrestling at another tourist attraction, one of the oldest tourist attractions in Miami, the Musa Isle Indian Village. This exact picture uh, appeared on a postcard that was uh, very, very popular. Saw a lot of in the racks in those days. Uh, this Seminole has, its, of course, the alligator's mouth pinned with his chin. The Goodyear blimp came to Miami in the late late 50s and uh, was based at Watson Island. It was quite an attraction uh, to go over there and look at the blimp. Uh, I never knew anybody actually rode in it. That's my mother. Uh, the water around uh, South Florida was always uh, an attraction to look at. Uh, many, many boats. We used to like to go down to the bay and just watch the boats. This is at uh, Dinner Key Marina. And this is Flagler Street, uh, the main business street in downtown. Uh, and this is on a New Year's Eve of 1957. Uh, getting ready uh, just prior to the Orange Bowl parade. You see uh, spectators sitting along the curb. And we're on our way down to get uh, get seats uh, on Biscayne Boulevard. And here's Biscayne Boulevard just north of uh, Flagler Street. Uh, on another, this be uh, another uh, Orange Bowl parade. This is probably 1961. And this is yet another one. Uh, I have no idea what year this was. This was about a year that we sat on the curb uh, across the Olympia Theater. Uh, took lots of pictures of floats. I really haven't kept very many of them. Joined from Bobby Senior High School in 1954. Uh, while I was there, I was a member of the band. And this was a very important influence of my life and really shaped much of what I did for a long time. Uh, I was very proud of being a member of the Miami High Million Dollar Band. I played cymbals and also carried the bass drum. And one of my ambitions while I was in high school was to go on to the University of Miami and be a member of the band of the hour, the marching band at the University of Miami. Uh, I decided I wanted to be a, a band director. Uh, and so uh, I aimed my college career in that direction. However, 